Warning, this video contains graphic images that may not be suitable for little sissy bitches, so if your discretion is advised, we kill shit here. This video is mostly going to be for the younger guys. I know, I know you most of you veteran trappers you got your your routines and stuff, but there's a lot of kids out there that got brand new traps. They're like, how do I get the oil off? Power washer on the stove, dishwasher, uh, the turkey fryer. There's all kinds of options, but for 11 year old kid, maybe it's easier just to put it in the dishwasher. That's what we're doing. That's what we're showing. Whatever gets you out there trapping, that's the goal. We want to be trapping, right? You don't have to have all that fancy stuff, so let's do this. Stay tuned. Okay guys, I'm gonna do a quick video on how to, what I do when I get brand new traps like on Christmas day. So you can see that there's oil on these guys, they're real dirty. First I get them all adjusted. Or make sure they're pretty close. I'm happy with that. You see the jaws up a little bit on that. That's typical with Bridgers and Duke. I just compensate. I don't put it in there flat. I just make it whatever way I need to go to make it look be level. No big deal. A lot of people complain about that, but it doesn't stop me from catching stuff. I check my traps. These are all dogless. Pretty easy, just click it right on the jaw there. Looks good. These are straight out of the box. I put, you gotta pick your, what you plan on using for an anchor. I use wolf fangs. For some reason in a live stream we were playing around with doing double wolf fangs. I do not need double, <laughs> but, but we did it anyway, so that's kind of funny. I guess if you, or in really soft mud, you just drive two of them in there and you're good to go. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's say that one's probably pretty good. It's a little low, but that just means a deeper catch. Yeah, you can tell it's, it don't go off when you drop it flat, you're good. I just want to make sure they're pretty close. Oh yeah, good. Good. Now you can either boil these on a pot or in a pot with a, of water, like a turkey fryer, or power wash them, or run them through your mom's dishwasher. Tonight, we're running them through the dishwasher. That's good. Get an anchor. Get the oil off. If you have wax, use it. Otherwise, go set, go set them in the ground. Just get them, get the oil off. They will rust. You will hold your dye better next year. Right now, you might as well just get them in the ground because trapping season is only like another month or so. So, okay, here we go. I have a ton of zip ties, so I grab some zip ties. I'm just gonna zip tie this chain in place so it doesn't go anywhere. You can use whatever you want. Uh, wire, ties, whatever. You just don't want it to go chain to get down in the, 
the little things that spin around down in there. And of course, the dishwasher was full of dirty dishes, so you know, I had to eat them bitches out of there. Maybe yours will have clean dishes and you can put them away for your mom and be awesome. But I'm not awesome. I just made it someone more work. <laughs> I used to be awesome one day. But no more. No, I'm just kidding. I'll probably re-put them back in and fire it up. Because that's what it should be. Once there's dishes in there, hit start. What's it going to hurt? Ooh, we did half a load. But we got half a load of clean dishes that we don't have to worry about. That's how I look at it, but... People don't look have the same views and expressions as I do. I hate getting in the dishwasher to to put dishes in and it's full of dirty dishes and you don't have room to put anything else. I'm like, why didn't we not start this up? Someone was waiting for one glass. <laughs> so once this is done, I do have some full metal jacket available. You don't have to do it, but I am going to dip them in full metal jacket. It's easy. It's another deal that you don't have to boil. You don't have to have a flaming hot fire because this is going to be geared mostly towards the young kids that don't have access to turkey fryers and such. They just need to get the oil off their traps. Simple. And you could do this in a pot on the stove, like a two traps at a time in a big old pot on the stove. You can get the oil off that way. But everybody has a dishwasher, I hope. See, I wired the trap so that it doesn't go down there and interfere with the spinning majigger majog. <laughs> if everybody don't have a dishwasher these days, it's hard to believe, even if you don't use it. Usually they cut, every house has them now. My dogs are arguing over here. Shut up. Okay, we are loaded. Dogs aren't happy. Start that bad boy. I hear it going. And now uh, we wait. Here we go. There they are. You can see that they're a lot duller now. The oil is removed. We'll get them put in here and I'll take them out to the shed and we'll dip them. Alright, here's my full metal jacket. You don't have to have full metal jacket if you don't want. If you already have it, use it. Oops. I thought I had a smaller bucket than that, but I guess I don't. I just take the full metal jacket and pour it in here. Take my tramps. Now, if you're going to use earth anchors, you can go ahead and dip your earth anchors too. If you use rebar, some say that you should wax the tips, the ends of your rebar, but the coyote will know you're there no matter what. I just dip it all in like that. Shake off the extra. Because I don't have any room to hang because I'm doing uh, car work stuff here. I'm just going to set them right there on that box until tomorrow. Then they're ready to set. Now, you could take them straight out like this without, you don't need full metal jacket. You could take these straight out like this and set them now. You don't have that oil on there. You're good to go for the year. But I feel like since I started waxing or full metal jacket or, or coating them some way, my catches have gone up. So that's what I do now. I will full metal jacket everything from, from here on. But if you're, you're not, there's no point in waiting a week for full metal jacket to get here or wax. Go set them. Try to catch some fur.
It's just a coating. It, it hides all the smell. It's pretty much aired out in here. There's a little bit of wood smoke, wood stove smell in here, but I'm not too worried about it. Now, when I go wash my traps that I've pulled, they're all covered in mud and whatnot. I'll power wash them and I'll dip them again and then they're gonna go right back out too. I got a, some that I pulled from a farm recently. And then I just put the full metal jacket back in this jug. There we go, we're ready to go. But like I say, previous years, I would get traps for Christmas. I would just get the oil off and I'd put them straight in the ground the next day. You could do the same thing. I got the full mother jacket. I'm going to use it. So there you go. Hopefully this helps. Figure out what you're going to use for steak, kids. I recommend earth anchors. They're cheap. You get a driver for 10 bucks. You get a dozen uh, wolf fangs for like $14 and you're good to go. You don't have to worry about it. Anybody want to finish my project? Hey guys, let me know in the comments if, if I missed something that you want to know on just taking care of your new traps. You mean this late in the game, just get them in the ground. That's what I do. They look pretty good, shiny. There's these new traps, you're going to need some rust on them to get the dye to stick anyway, so. All right. That's going to be it. Thanks for watching.